Lawyers have some questions for the man managing a ranch near Idlewild where one woman went missing and another woman died. Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo. As CBS 8's David Golferton reports, Keith Harper sat for a six hour deposition in a probate case brought forth by the kids of the missing woman, Dia Abrams. The last I saw her was approximately 2.30 when I had lunch with her. 73-year-old Keith Harper answered questions for about six hours Thursday during a deposition focusing on what happened to his girlfriend, Dia Abrams. The former La Jolla woman went missing two years ago from her ranch near Idlewild. Harper admits he was the only other person on the property. You never left the property at all? Never. And then after you were done mowing the meadow, you went back to the house around 7.30, true? Abrams, age 65, left her cell phone, purse, and pickup truck behind. Based on the way the property is configured, you would have seen the truck go by if she had left? Yeah. And you never saw the truck go by? No. Abrams' two adult children are now suing Harper, trying to get him removed as trustee of the 119-acre ranch. During the deposition, Harper testified Abrams was afraid of her own son, Clinton. She was fearful that Clinton would be, was involved in a situation that would take her life or make her disappear. Harper claimed Abrams was in fear for her life because she was in a court battle with her children over the estate of her late husband, La Jolla developer Clem Abrams. She had told six of her friends that uh, she believed that, that Clinton had issued a order for her extermination. Harper admitted in the weeks following Abrams' disappearance, police seized his cell phone and served search warrants on his RV, his storage business in New Mexico, and a home he owns in Colorado. Have the authorities ever done or said anything to give you an indication that they were looking at you as the potential perpetrator? I think the last person that ever sees an individual, they always suspect. Two years later, the remains of Dia Abrams still have not been found, and as it stands now, Harper continues to live on the ranch and manage her estate. Did you ever have any discussions with Dia about who she would want her trustee to be after she passed? No. I knew she did not want her children to have anything, period. Now, I reached out to the son, Clinton Abrams, and he emailed CBS 8 a statement saying, quote, Keith Harper is a career criminal and sex offender with multiple convictions. He also says Harper caught himself in many lies, both on and off the record, and he denies any involvement in his mother's disappearance. And David, you've reported before that there was another woman who died on that same ranch back in December. What's the latest in that case? Right, her name is uh, Jody Newkirk and attorneys questioned her as well, uh, questioned, I'm sorry, uh, Harper as well about that case. And uh, Harper continues to maintain that she died in an accidental ATV rollover incident on the ranch. That case is still under investigation by the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. All right, thanks so much for that update. David Goffertson reporting live.